Imagine you can eat all the mana'ish and pizza that you want and crave, only with no guilt or extra calories. Check out my recipe for two different kinds of dough, using brown flour and oatmeal. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. To prepare the mana'ish dough, in a small bowl, add half a teaspoon of yeast with a quarter cup of warm water. Stir them until they are well combined and then leave them aside. In another small bowl, add two tablespoons of fine bulgur and quarter cup of warm water and also leave them aside. Now in a large bowl, add two cups of brown flour, half cup of oatmeal flour, one third cup of fine semolina, 2 tablespoons of powdered milk and 1 tablespoon of salt. Stir all the ingredients together and then add the yeast mixture and the soaked bulgur. Add 1 teaspoon of honey and finally a half cup of warm water and start mixing the ingredients with a spatula. You may need to add a little more water as you start kneading with your hand. Keep kneading until you have a smooth dough. Then add 1 teaspoon of olive oil and knead it for another minute or two. You should have a dough that is soft and a little sticky to the hand. Cover it and leave it aside in a warm place to double in size. To prepare the first mana'ish filling, add a quarter cup of feta cheese to a mixing bowl. Add a pinch of parsley and stir them until they are fully combined. For the other type, add one medium minced onion to a mixing bowl, two large tomatoes, red chili paste, half a teaspoon of pomegranate molasses, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, a pinch of salt and pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of allspice, and half teaspoon of olive oil. Finally, mix all the ingredients together and the harhura filling is ready. To start preparing the mana'ish, preheat the oven and drizzle 1 teaspoon of olive oil on the working sheet. Start dividing the dough into equal sized pieces. Now take one of the little balls of dough and start pushing it on the center with the tips of your fingers until it is only 2 or 3 millimeters thick. Then if you want you can form it as you see in the video. Put it directly on the baking pan when you finish. Take another piece of the dough and use your fingers to give it an oval shape. Put one or two teaspoons of the cheese mixture and shape it as you see in the video. Put it on the baking pan. Add one to two tablespoons of the previously made harhoura to the rounded dough. And finally bake it in the oven until they are ready to be enjoyed. Now let's make the other type of healthy dough for the pizza. To make one medium-sized pizza in a large bowl, add half a cup of oatmeal flour. 
1 cup of brown flour, 1 tablespoon of powdered milk, and half a teaspoon of salt. Stir all the ingredients together and then dissolve half a teaspoon of yeast into a half a cup of warm water. To the mixture add 1 teaspoon of honey. Mix them well and add them to the dry ingredients. Start combining using a wooden spoon or a spatula. Add 1 tablespoon of olive oil and then start kneading with your hand. Knead until you have a smooth and soft dough. Drizzle a teaspoon of olive oil on the dough, cover it and leave it aside to double in size. Drizzle one more teaspoon of olive oil into a baking pan and spread the dough on top of it by pressing its center with your fingertips. Poke it with a fork as you see me doing in the video. And then add 1 third cup of pizza sauce which you can find its recipe in the description box. And also learn the way to preserve it for a whole year. Drizzle some mozzarella cheese on top. And then start adding your favorite pizza toppings. I added some sliced onion, sweet corn, bell peppers and mushrooms. Add one more small drizzle of mozzarella cheese and finally a pinch of oregano. Bake it in a preheated oven until it's ready. Thank you for watching and enjoy!